One of my favorite parts of Mary's life in the scripture is when she says, um, may it be to me as you have said. That comes on the tail end of the angel telling her that she's going to be the mother of Jesus. And yet this young woman, this teenager, in that moment released all of her dreams, her relationships, her expectations, everything that was familiar into the hands of God. That was going to have a cost. There was not, this was not going to be an easy journey. And yet she totally trusted him. And to be so young and to trust him so completely was such an indication that she just didn't know about him, but she really knew him. And what a gift to all of us, because it really inspires us to want to have that same kind of knowing, uh, knowing who he is and not just about what he does. I think that's one of the best examples. I think there's another example where we see when she um, has been with Elizabeth and Elizabeth has been just so joyful that she has visited her. And Mary launches into this scripture that really speaks to the history of God's faithfulness. And what you see, again, is that she knew God because she knew he'd been faithful in the past. She knew the sinful condition of man. And she knew that she was blessed to be on this journey that was going to be incredibly painful. But yet she focused on the privilege instead of the problem. And so, again, it's a statement that she knew she could trust him. And I think at the very end of her life, for the last time we see Mary mentioned in scripture is in Acts. And she's waiting for the Spirit to arrive. And yet, the Spirit had been with her for all those years, and yet she, in her humility, was there waiting to experience it, just like all of her other villagers and her other um, believers. She was there praying and thanking and trusting that he would come and he would be with her forever. So from the beginning of her life to the end of her life, we see a woman who lives out her faith and not just has knowledge of her faith.